only the first rider of these repper charges will go through. Shane Perkins, you can see on screen there, the Tigers fan uh, up against Alan Baby from India, also Eunice from Malaysia and New Zealander. This is his big danger, Simon Van Veldhoeven. Silver medalist from the kilometre time trial last night for Kiwi. Very fast, very strong. Bronze medalist in the Kirin at the London Olympics. It was equal bronze, actually. They couldn't split uh, Simon Van Veldhoeven and Toon Mulder from the Netherlands. So they both stood on the podium with a bronze. And you mentioned Shane Perkins being a Tigers fan. Richmond Football Club, a few years ago at the Victorian Institute of Sport, when the VIS shared the gym space with Collingwood. And it was after a match on the weekend where... The Tigers, surprisingly, got over the Magpies and beat Collingwood. <laughs> Shane thought it'd uh, be a, a funny fella, and he uh, wore his Tigers jersey into uh, into the gym. And uh, actually, he got some official complaints from uh, Collingwood back into the VIS over that. I think they took it very well. But uh, that is the sort of character Shane is. He will, is a fighting spirit. He's going to uh, have a real crack here. He's, had, he's been suffering from a, a, a severe back injury over the last couple of months. Had professional racing obligations in Japan in the Kirin series, quite lucrative series he's been involved in the last few years. He's had to fly back and forth from Japan in between races to get to some preparation and recovery on his back. So he comes in very much underdone to the Commonwealth Games at this time. Wasn't able to defend his sprint title, withdrew from that event to focus on the team sprint and the Kirin. And now he has it all to do in the first repertoire. It's his third Commonwealth Games. And uh, no doubt Aidan and Misha, his children, will be watching on. He won 15 of 16 races in the Kieran last year, so we know he's fighting a back injury. And as you can see, Perkins on the top of the track. It's then Eunice, followed by Van Valthoven. And nearest to camera is uh, the Malaysian rider, or Eunice is the Malaysian rider, and Alan Baby. Kiwi and the Australian. So the dirty bike will come around. They'll form up behind it. Four riders here, but only the winner will go through for an opportunity into a gold medal potential ride-off. Let's see. Form up behind the dirty. Van Veldhoeven, the Kiwi, followed by Eunice from Malaysia, then Shane Perkins and Alan Baby, the 18-year-old from India and you would think the winner will come from Perkins, Eunice or Van Valthoven, the uh, Indian rider and get up the teenager. It'll be a great result for him but this is Van Valthoven. It'd be a great result but uh, very surprising if that was uh, to be the case. New Zealand rider sitting just behind the Derny. Very strong rider, he's good in the Kieran. We see a lot of him in Australia as well. He's been a couple of seasons coming out to Tasmania for the Christmas Carnival Series in between Christmas Day and New Year's Day. So for Shane Perkins, we've already got one Australian through into the second round, two Australians, and uh, they are safely through at the moment. Yes, Pete Lewis and Matthew Glatzer have made their way through into the second round. So hopefully Shane Perkins can join them, former Kieran world champion, but as we said, he's severely underdone with that back injury that he's... Uh, to work with. It means he hasn't been able to do the gym work that he'd normally do. He hasn't been able to do all the track training that he'd also be able to handle coming into a competition like the Commonwealth Games. And we saw that in the first that first heat of the Kieran that he was involved in. It didn't look anywhere near as sharp as he has been in previous years. So he's going to have to pull on all of his, his experience now. You can see him just giving himself a little bit of room to come around to get three laps to go. This time they go through the back straight with two and a half to go. Derny will come off and it will be a four up sprint. Van Veldhoeven, the Kiwi, followed by the Malaysian, Eunice. Then it's Shane Perkins and then Baby, the Indian, the fourth wheel. Derny pulls off, two and a half laps to go. Everyone starts cranking the neck and having a look around, seeing what the opponents are doing. Baby, the Indian, decides he's going to attack first and that might be his best tactic. Still on the front, Van Veldhoeven. Well, Van Verhoeven so strong from the front. You can see big gear as well, getting out of the seat, getting the acceleration. Eunice is in the best position here. Perkins has a lot to ride, though. Perkins has a lot of work to do if he's going to get through. Only the first rider will get through. Perkins now climbs into his work down the back straight. Gets on the shoulder of Eunice. Shane Perkins. Well, the class rises to the top, and Perkins 
manages to survive the rapid charge and will get through as one of the final 12 riders to have a shot at a gold medal. Well done, Shane Perkins. He did it when he needed to and managed to get over the top of Eunice Van Belthoven and Baby Alan Baby from India was well in arrears. Have a look at this. He had to go early there, three wide going into the back straight. Van Belhoeven just started to slow. I was surprised by that, and to Perkins' advantage, he was able to comfortably go around the outside of Eunice. Tactically, fantastic performance, and he looks so much more comfortable in that ride than he did in the first one. Great result. Shane Perkins through the repercharge charge in the men's. Kieran, he lives to fight another day. That gold medal to be decided tonight. But now to Peter Donigan at the Athletics with the men's marathon and another golden moment for Australia.